We are learning more tonight about the murders of three women in Dallas in three separate incidents since April. Police have arrested a 25 year old man. He's being held in the Dallas County Jail on $4 million bond. Our Robbie Owens is at Dallas Police Headquarters with what she's learned. We know the identities of two of the women murdered. A third, all we know is that she was a black woman and that her body was dumped near the Trinity River, very close to downtown last week. Still, police here are confident that all three murders are connected and that their detectives have stopped a killer. It was, it was excellent police work. It was excellent work by our detectives, by, by the units that were involved outside uh, of our homicide unit um, to gather the evidence that they needed to, one, identify a suspect, um, also to, to link the, the three crimes. According to the arrest warrant affidavit, the first victim was discovered on April 22nd off a gravel road near the Trinity River in the shadow of downtown. Then in June, a fisherman found a second partially nude body in the same area. Both women had ties to prostitution. Detectives immediately began looking into a possible connection. Tire tracks and surveillance video from nearby businesses led them to a vehicle that had also been captured on cameras in the area of Harry Hines, where at least one of the victims had last been seen alive. Her phone at one point moving in the same direction as the suspects. So have detectives stopped a serial killer, prevented other murders? We can't speculate on that, but I think what's important for the, for the city and for the community to know is that we have really, really talented detectives that care about the work that they do. Um, and it was solid work that led to this arrest and for this man to be behind bars. Police tell us that the investigation is ongoing ahead at six. How detectives use technology to help connect these murders and quite possibly catch a killer. That's at six. At Dallas Police Headquarters, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.